God bless you. So, Angela Jolanda Salas say hello to everybody who live religion. You live religion or you live Jesus Christ in your heart? Do you live religion or you live Jesus Christ in your heart? Today we talk, we're going to talk about religion. Why? Because sometimes we see so many people, they live religion. They don't live Jesus Christ inside her heart. And sometimes people, they fight for religion. We see, um, they happen to me because and not fight for religion, somebody fight for religion. It was this guy, the congregation that was outside in the state of New York City. I was passing by because I was trying to copy on uh, uh, my phone a video about these people because these people, they're always in the street. And what happened? We see right here. This, we're talking about these people and these people say that, uh, how Jesus is black. So I'm not fighting with them that Jesus is black, white. Um, red, yellow, no, <laughs> I'm not fighting about that. The only thing I was right there that day, and I was uh, I was outside in the street, yeah, I was trying to copy the service that was given in the street of New York City, right? So it was this uh, young guy, young man, he called to me and he was arguing with me and told me, listen, you know something, you cannot copy my videos. You can do this, you can copy my video. What video? What, the, what are you talking about? What video? What are you saying? He, that's the way he talked to me. I talk to you the way he talked to me. You speak English? What's going on with you? I mean, I mean, you understand what I'm trying to tell you? You can do that. You cannot copy nothing in here. Because we'll be preaching and we don't like that. Come with attitude and talk. I say, what, what, what's wrong with you? Did you not see me? I'm a lady. You're not supposed to come with that kind of attitude to me. Why are you talking to me like that? And he keep looking at me. So the, the one that was preaching in the front looked at him like that, like, a, you know, he's not supposed to come with that kind of attitude. You know why he, he was fighting to me? Because he was, um, the guy was preaching and, the, and he was, um, gave us some, this flyer that you see right here. But he not gave it to this flyer. He was selling it in five bucks. I said, are you out of your mind? That's only a paper. The, the, the have many faces and stuff like that. And he said, it doesn't matter. It's our religion. We're selling it. So I said, oh my God, people, they treat people outside in the street. I just let you know this in, in the, inside the internet. Because I want you, when you go into the street or New York or every place that you be, you see this kind of religion. You see right there? And you saw this kind of people. Don't buy nothing for that people. Don't buy no paper, nothing like that for that people. Because people, they're not supposed to be selling to you flowers and not, nothing like that. This is a free this is free, this is not for selling. But sometimes people try to trick people in the street. So he was getting mad, mad at me because he thinking I'm gonna call the cops and he, they're gonna get in trouble. Do you understand what I'm saying? So that's why he gave be against me and he did have me with me inside, uh, you know, outside in the street. Because I tell him how fake, listen, this is a free country and when I want to copy your video, I just do it because this is free. And he was arguing with me. But I copied already and put it in YouTube. And I don't care what they will say. So they keep on looking at me with bad faces and everything. Give me back. Look, I don't care what you're talking about. That's what that religion gave it to you. When people, they religion, they be against another people when they be passing by. Because they was preaching. They say the word God. They try to pass like a Jewish people. And they say how God is, how God is black. That's what they say. So I'm not be against them, I'm not be fighting with them. And you see how these people, they manipulate their work with this kind of flyer. And people, they not understand what is, is uh, religion. And sometimes they stand right there and they uh, communicate with other people. And they um, lie to you and you be involved with these people and you get in trouble. Why? Because you don't know what is going on. That's what I'm telling you. So this guy be against me and he, you know, talk to me the wrong way. Because he's not supposed to talk to me like that. Today we're talking about religion. So every kind of religion we're talking about. Because when you go to the White House, are we talking about Washington, front of the White House. What do you see outside in Washington? A lot of people, religion people. And then you see so many Spanish people, religion so many Jehovah Witnesses, right? We see, uh, um, like I said, different kind of religion, Baltic church, and, and every kind of religion. 
and each other they not communicate they have argument because everybody believe in one god right it's only one god but everybody believe in one god right like these people right here they say god is black so when you go to this church they have in the wall jesus um painted in black right with the disciple <laughs> you say what yeah that's it that's this kind of religion that you never see in the street of new york city they change the bible and they change the the birth of the bible in revelation and they say our god is black and you know many things that you want to see is different for today i let you know about this kind of religion in the street you can see it because sometimes when you be going outside they be dressed with gowns and non colors lilac something like that you see outside and gold stuff around the neck something like that and you see it don't stop to communicate with these people these people trick you and they not on serving god he they do on god that's what i'm telling you okay just to let you know so we know and sometimes we going to bout in church right and you know every bout in church her own religion too right what bout in church do you go to the to bout in church they not um they not be against you about nothing they let you you use whatever you want to uh, use when you um, come to church what we're gonna say what we're talking about we're talking about is sometimes you go a pentecostal church and you say, what do you mean Pentecost church? I wish I was um, Christian too. Listen, you church, the pastor let you wear every kind of clothes you want. You want to come in minister to church? They let you come like that. You're going to come, um, like uh, I said, dress up with men clothes? They let you come like that. I'm talking about women. Ain't nobody clarify you, nothing like that. And you feel comfortable because nobody be against the verse of the Bible they say Deuteronomy 22 verse 5 and you say what they say there they talking about women when they be wear men clothes they be in adultery and you know it's true that's said in the Bible just you, you don't believe what I'm saying keep, keep on looking inside the Bible and you want to find that verse in the Bible and that Anna put that verse in the Bible God put that verse in the Bible and a lot of about in church they don't leave that kind of verse in the Bible right everybody can come the way they want to church be dressed up we're talking about religion today and how religion um work inside the church so everybody can do whatever they want in church right and you say oh why we say you know many about in church a lot of pastors drink they drink they drink and you say no they're not they drink because when the church that used to be going everybody get drunk and they said that's what God sent it to do. And you be lying and you be playing with the world God. That's the church we we'll be talking about. Sometimes we see so many problems in church. Sometimes we see pastor be against um her own congregation. Or sometimes pastors uh, kill her wife. You hear that in the new? And you say, Yeah, I hear that in the new. And why? Because that pastor they um be serving God her own way, not the way God wants that pastor serving God. And never that pastor repent. They have seen because they never repent. And why? Because they don't have like a I said faith to faith with God. That's what I'm saying. Because sometimes when you come to the repent, uh you be serving God the way God wants you to serve God. And sometimes we see so many and uh, how many Church around the world, you we can see Bolton Church. We're talking about Bolton Church, million of Bolton Church in around America, right? And you see, everybody do whatever they want. They, did you not see that? We know a lot of people they come from another country, from Africa, and come um, for another uh, countries right here and come to the Bolton Church serving God. Sometimes we go to be preaching the world God in the front, try to explain. To the people in the congregation, they God uh, do this, do that, do this. I say God, not me. Do, do this, do that. And sometimes you give explanation with the Bible. God want you to repent. God want you to not sin. God want you to respect Him and obey Him. And sometimes people get mad at you and look at you. In my Bible, they don't say that. 
I said, what are you talking about? And my Bible, they don't say, I cannot wear this clothes. I can do whatever I want. And you see woman, the younger one, oldest one too. Minister in church. Standing where? In the altar. Serving God with what? Men clothes. I, uh, they, they are going to clarify that lady? No, I can't do that. But when you get the Bible, right? When you get the Bible, and you take the Bible, pick up the Bible, you know the Bible is the one tell you how you live your life. And you say, no, the Bible can tell me that. I live the life the way I want to. The Bible that can tell me things like that because I don't want to do it. And you're not doing it because you want no to not obey God. That's what you do, whatever you want. And we see so many uh, destroy church around the world about what? Because they now obey the word of God, and that's why you see so many destroyed churches around the world. You see so many destruction. Why with so many destruction? Because you saw the pastor in the front, and the pastor they don't know to, he don't know what to do because he tried to take the church to heaven, but he can't take the church to heaven. He doesn't go to the word of God and read it, the word of God to the congregation and tell them what is bad and what is good. So you not explain that to the church, how can you want to take the church to heaven? Nobody can take the church to heaven, only God. And we see that so many church around the world. Sometimes I explain to you in the right here, I try to communicate with you about religion. Why? Because sometimes people live religion, then I live God in our heart. When you live God in our heart, you are a real, a real Christian person. When you live like a, a, the world that live religion, you don't care about nothing. Why you don't care about nothing? Because you go every Sunday to church about the same thing. Be sitting down on the bench, be singing, be um testify something they uh, happen to you maybe home maybe you work or maybe on uh, uh, when you was in the street right and you be testify and then testify do whatever you want and come back and go back to to home and go to the restaurant or go to Burger King go me down give me the number five number six or something like that eat some chicken nuggets uh, double burger and stuff like that and go home and you do the same thing every something, right? To in church. And hallelujah, glory to God, Jesus said, and everything like just like that. And that's not the, that's not the uh, that's not what God wants for you. God wants you to serve him with all your heart, with all your spirit. And a lot of people did not like that. I explain to you religions. I tell I explain to you what is going on with a lot of people. They say they're serving God, but not serving God. They be a religion person. A religion person is they go every Sunday to church, doing nothing in church, and come back home. That's what you do. Every Sunday the same thing. Nothing different. Um pass the park in the in the in the in the, the car and go into the church, be preaching the same sermon and everything, and go home. And doing nothing, watching TV, boxing, or whatever they was giving TV, and everything like that. And that's the way. And God was, is looking them from heaven and say, This person, they're not serving me. Her heart is be long way from me. Well, you know why? Because you not be um, equal together with God. That's what I'm telling you. We see a lot of people like that. We're talking about religion. And we see people, they want to serve God, but doing sin. And you cannot serve a God into water. You have to be serving God in one water. That's why people don't like me when I be preaching in a lot of the church. And they kick me out of the church and tell me, listen, I don't want you no more right here. Be preaching the word, that kind of word of God right here. I'm not preaching in no kind of word of God right here because I want to. I preach the word of God because it's in the Bible. Do you answer what I say? It's like when you go to a Spanish church, what happened to you? They're going to look near you like that and you want to say oh well they look at me like that because the way you dress up they don't like it why you see it because they pentecost it and they are uh, those people they don't like people um doing sin um in church and they want you clean and so you want to go inside the church they could be looking at you like that because they look why you be dressing then i look you are a real good person that's what i'm talking about you know what i'm trying to tell you and you say oh nah, she's playing good it's like a, we have two bible right here and you understand the one Bible right here? This is say Holy Bible. And this one, what they say in Spanish? They say Santa Biblia. It means 
This is in Spanish and this is in English. And you, so I give you the Spanish one, you can't understand nothing. So I give you the English one, you understand because you, it, that's your own language. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? That's the way I try to explain to you religion. So you don't understand religion because a lot of people, you know what happened? They not live God her own in her heart. They live in religion. Be going every Sunday to church and by the weekend, Try to see if you can go Friday to be take Bible stories and things like that. That's your religion. That's not be serving God. That's why I try to tell you, explain to you what's going on inside the church. Why you see sometimes the pastor um doing something wrong and you say why he did something wrong because he's not be serving God and he be a religion person and that's why you see he may see kill her own wife like you see sometimes in the new and you be looking in the new and say oh a pastor kill her why what happened in there nobody's perfect i can tell you that pastor will have a temptation with the devil and the devil made him do something wrong because he's not supposed to be doing and that's so sad right so sad when we heal the kind of new inside they knew our people that i mean our pastor that be kill her own wife or her own kid and sometimes buried inside the basement oh it's so sad. A person that be serving God for many years, or a pastor that be like I say, serving God and do something her stepdaughter and the stepdaughter get pregnant about her own stepfather and he was a pastor. Oh my God! Destroy what the testimony of the what of the church. That's what the pastor doing. And he doesn't understand what is going on because maybe he um, get away about to not pray, to not fast, and doing nothing. Only the temptation from the world get into her heart and make him do whatever what is today an evil person, right? And that's what I say. We see that a lot, a lot of church like that, and we see people carrying a Bible. No, 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 no more. People don't carry no Bible no more. We see a lot of people now, what they carry to go to church, a phone. This Bible, they put in where? In the garbage. Because if you want to fight the devil with a phone, the devil want to clutch the phone and hit him with the phone in your head. But you can hit with this Bible, the devil in her head, like there, and destroy that devil and the demons. Now with a phone. That's why I see a lot of people. You see in church, dressed up very nice. What they carry? A phone. And when I tell them, listen, you have a Bible. Why well, you don't carry the Bible? I don't need that. I don't need that junk no more. When well, you call the, the word of God a junk? Because I have it right here on my phone. And what? And then scientific phone? Are you out of your mind? You shame the word of God for the phone? You have to be out of your mind. You have to be crazy. Because who, who shame a Bible? They have the real world of God for a phone had to be out of the mind and crazy. You know why? Because in here you have the life. In here you don't have no life. In here you have only what you got, an item. Why? And this can be destroyed but not this. Because this can get into your heart. We see a lot of people do that. And that's why you see many church around the world destroyed. Because they put the world God where? In the garbage. And they be carrying phone now. And that's what you see so many dummies inside the church with a phone like that the whole time. And they don't pay attention to the to the sermon in the in the um church. When they go there, and you ask them, listen, what they was preaching today? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know because you never you don't pay no attention. That's why you don't know what they was preaching in church. And you don't you don't carry no Bible, you carry a phone, play key inside the service, sitting down on the bench, tested somebody. Um, in your phone, maybe your girlfriend, maybe uh, or somebody from your family, and you don't pay no attention in, to the service. We see that in a lot of church, and that's why I see a lot of church be destroyed. We're talking about religion, we're talking about church, we're talking about Pentecostal church. Many more than 150 church around the world, more than one thousand, and we see on church be together in the same um, block, they are in the same um, uh, neighborhood, in even 
communicate each other because they hate each other. I don't like the way he preached. I don't like the way this one preached. And I preached better than the other one. I lift up the word of God the, the way God wants to, to me to um, lift the word of God. But this one, this Pastor Pharaoh, and he don't do the things right, and he doing everything wrong, and you thinking you are an angel, and he's the devil. And God is going to um, get you in the ratio because you're best of all 